hello there welcome to my channel today we'll be making donuts without yeast or butter this is so easy to make a very delicious and nutrient packed but before we start if you haven't subscribed to this channel kindly do so and turn on post notifications don't forget to share this channel with your friends as well as there are more healthy recipes on your way let's have a look at the ingredients i'll be using for this recipe i have my bread flour you can use all purpose flour i have milk here vanilla essence you can use banana or pineapple essence i have olive oil two large eggs i have my sugar I'll be using about a quarter of it. I have nutmeg, cinnamon powder, baking powder here, salt, and then water. You can use butter in place of the oil, but I prefer to use oil. So we start the process. I'll start off by mixing my dry ingredients. This is my cinnamon powder which is one teaspoon i have one teaspoon of salt baking powder one tablespoon i have sugar i'll be using quarter of the sugar this is half cup but i'll use quarter of it because at the end of it i'll glaze my donuts with honey so i don't want it so sweet then give that mix to combine the ingredients with the flour you can use a whisk on that so just create a hole in the middle to add in the wet ingredients so this is my milk quarter cup of milk and then my egg it's always advisable to Crack one egg at a time into a separate bowl, then transfer into your mixture so that if there's any bad egg, it doesn't spoil your butter. Then, my vanilla essence I'll use one teaspoon of the vanilla essence. As I said, you can use pineapple or any essence or banana, any essence that you have available. But I'm using vanilla essence here. So just give that a mix and then add in the water. So the water is not added all at once. You add little at a time as you mix, you add so that it doesn't become too much. So if you are using butter, you can add the butter with the milk and egg and if you are using butter it should be three or four tablespoons of butter so i forgot my nutmeg i'm just grating it into my dough then i continue so I'm grating about half of the nutmeg into it. If you are using powdered nutmeg, then you should add one teaspoon of the powdered nutmeg. The nutmeg was supposed to go the time go in the time I added the ingredients to the flour before adding the water by forgot so i'm kneading this in the bowl if you're not comfortable kneading in the bowl you can just place your dough on the worktop or countertop and then knead it with your two hands help to help stretch it this is to help make it a bit flexible so if it's too sticky you can just add in a bit of oil 
or flour to make it a bit easier for you to knead so I'm done kneading I'll add in the olive oil this is more than one I'll add in one tablespoon for now but in all I'll be using three tablespoons of the olive oil still kneading it So I'm done. I've added the oil. I paused. But I added the oil. So I've used three tablespoons of oil. Then last um, another tablespoon to coat the top so that it doesn't stick to the bowl. So just dress our dough and then cover it for two hours let it sit for two hours to help the baking powder react with our dough properly before we can go to the next step so basically i'm just covering it so you can cover it with a cloth or napkin and allow it to sit for two hours So after two hours and it's time to move to the next step so I just sprinkle some flour on the wet top before transferring the dough onto it so that the dough does not stick to the wet top then we give it a quick knead and then roll it so I'm just adding in a bit of flour to the dough give it a quick knead and then I'll divide it into two See the dough is so sticky so once the dough gets sticky just sprinkle in more flour onto the work top you can use oil if you don't want to use flour you can use oil on the work top it will still not stick to the work top and it will make it easier for you to work with it so I'll just roll this out, sprinkle a little dough so that the rolling pin doesn't stick to the dough. So just roll it out. Once it gets sticky, just sprinkle a little flour or a little oil on it and then you are good to go. roll it all out and then the surface has to be smooth 
so what we'll do now is to take a small round bow and cut through the dough with it if you have a pastry or cookie cutter you can use it a round cookie cutter you can use it just to get the shape of the donuts a little pressure on it to as well so we just take off these parts from it and then get a bottle lid so this is a Hanes uh, salad cream bottle lid you can use any bottle lid water bottle lid or any bottle lid then we cut through the center of the dough so if you don't want it's in a ring form or if you don't want the donut showing you can just leave it this way without having to cut through the center of the dough it's fine but it's just that you wouldn't get it in a ring form and this is the rest of the dough we need it again roll and then repeat the same process if it's sticky you just sprinkle some flour or oil on it and then you roll repeat so this is the other half of my dough I've just rolled it out a bit and then cut it into smaller pieces so remember once your dough is ready and you fry it it will be twice or it's the the size will double up so it depends on the size that you want your donuts then you know how much to cut it so i'm just rolling this into ball shape to get my donuts ball so this is how I do it, just a little flour, put this inside here, tap it in. And this is done, so I'll just cover this and let it sit for 30 minutes to 1 hour. Then we fry it. So it's after one hour and it's time to fry the donuts. There's oil on fire which I'll preheat before frying the donuts. Always be sure to preheat the oil. Make sure the oil is hot before you start frying. And make it a point not to overcrowd the donuts. Give it space because as it fries, the size increases so we fry it until it turns golden brown so flip over until that side to turns into golden brown then we repeat until the donuts are done frying Okay. 
So I have my golden brown donut rings and donut balls here. So delicious. As I said, I'll be glazing or coating mine with honey. You can decide to glaze yours with chocolate, um, sugar or date syrup. You can also decide to eat it just like this. It's really delicious. But if you are sweet tooth, you can just add in some honey and then a sprinkle of sesame seeds i'm using roasted sesame seeds to add it to it this is really delicious everyone loves it and this doesn't last in my house my family loves these donuts a lot the taste is good and the flavors are just so so rich And it's very soft too. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you try this recipe and share with your families. Leave your comments and reviews as well. See you soon. Bye.